Well, good morning, world. How's the tubers doing today? Uh, <laughs> I got a, a kind of a funny story to tell you. We we have been having an amazing time down here in regards to church. Obviously, we're down south here in Bible Belt, and uh, you know we, we live up in Maine, which is one of the most secular states in the country. Uh, and and my wife has just fallen in love with the churches we've been going down into, going to down here. And I don't blame her. The, the services have been fabulous. If any of y'all want to hear a good preacher, look up Perry Noble, P-E-R-R-Y-N-O-B-L-E, on the on the net, and you'll find him preaching in various and under various and sundry other things. But I think what I started to talk about, I was going to tell you about something goofy that I did. I didn't think it was goofy at the time. I thought it was kind of neat, but it turned out to be not so good. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was thinking the other day about how owning a dog is kind of like learning what it must be like to be God, or, or if you think about how we love our dogs, kind of like how God loves us. And um, and we've been going to church a lot and feeling really blessed, and we were sitting out on the porch yesterday, and Charlie was in Trisha's arms, and he'd fallen asleep, and his little front legs were just hanging out in midair, and his ne- head was, neck was on her arm, and his eyes was closed, and he was sleeping. I, I shot a picture with my phone, and uh, I don't do a lot of uh, internet stuff, other than YouTube. Years ago when I had been doing YouTube for a while, somebody commented, wow, it's not very often you see an old man like you who knows how to make videos and put them up and all that. And of course, that was kind of funny to me then, but it might have been true. But I don't know very much about uh, Instagram, and I know 63 Impala uses Instagram. A lot of people do, and I, 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 I don't like it because you have to you have to do it on your phone and to me everything on the phone is too little i can't work them little buttons and i can't hardly see the screen and and i can't do it on my laptop and um you know honey baby puts stuff over there so anyway i i took a picture of charlie on honey baby's arms i put it on the book of face and and i just put it on instagram didn't think much about it and i titled it um uh resting in the arms of god well i thought it was symptomatic of how you know, the picture was symptomatic of how it is to be loved by God, but somebody thought it meant that Charlie had died, and so Facebook blew up. All these people were <laughs> sending me messages, oh my gosh, no, tell me, Charlie's not dead. Well, Charlie's not dead. Here, let me show you. Here he is right there. Uh, Charlie, say hi. Where'd you at? I know you're over here somewhere. Where'd you go, buddy? Yeah, so Charlie's not dead. Um, but I forgot, because like I say, I'm not familiar with all this about Instagram. So this morning, Eric Polson's trying to reach me to tell me how sorry he is to hear that Charlie's passed away. And I was like, no, 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 Charlie's not dead. I just thought it was a neat title for a picture. <sighs> so anyway, I just was going to share my goofy experience with y'all um, and let and, and just say, for anybody that don't know, Charlie's fine. Ain't your buddy. You're fine, ain't you, buddy? He likes to sit in the sunshine. So we're going home in a few days, which means he's going to go from being able to sit in the sunshine to being somewhat chillier, because it is somewhat chillier up where we're about to go, too. But there's all that. So I just wanted to clear that up, so I'm not ever going to talk about that again. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all have a nice day. See ya.